Hey, what's going on, y'all? Chef Kent Black here. And um, I'm just going to give y'all a little update on the indoor garden situation. Let me fold this back right here so y'all can see a little bit. All right. But yeah, I'm going to give y'all a little update on the indoor garden. We're looking at day six officially from when um, I started the seed germination, um, which was just like hydrating them in water. And you can see obviously where we are right now, the uh, grow lights and enclosure, the grow tent has, is proving to be quite the architectural feat. Um, we have, I have been able to produce some actual um, condensation in there, which is ideal for growing and seed germination, keeping it like moist and warm. So that's perfect. Um, with just using two of the two foot T5s, I was actually considering increasing the light um, if this wasn't proving to provide the ideal environment, but it is. Um, I might also just consider increasing it anyway, just to help encourage the peppers and cucumbers over there because they like a really warm and humid environment for um, plant growth. Um, so yeah, like we are looking at the tomatoes right here. Let me actually take this cover off so I can show y'all. Yo, dang, look at these bad boys, bruh. All right. Uh, cool. All right, yeah. Oh my God, look at them little joints. What? They're about three inches tall right now. Um, let me see. Nah, maybe like two inches half a finger's worth yo they are so cute damn little plants are mad cute um so yeah i got two four six and there's one little baby baby right there seven uh yo yesterday that thing was like definitely not even above soil yeah so i'm gonna just tell you guys like this is my first indoor grow um this is after having read much online and just listening to people debating over like what kinds of lighting is appropriate and co like cost wise what can you get for what kind of money and I paid like 60 bucks for this light setup this box was five dollars and uh, this light truss that I built at Home Depot it cost me like 15 bucks but this will this will last forever these bulbs are really inexpensive too to replace so I mean I'll be growing Kratky aquatically in this in these two containers here and I think it'll work like this is a under a under a hundred dollars you have like an indoor garden for as long as you could possibly you know want to want to explore indoor gardening but yo look at these tomato plants they are coming along um I'm just gonna keep you guys updated but the lighting and tent tent uh, situation is proving to be like quite effective it does not take a very much room in my house this like entire setup is like the length and width of like a coffee table um, but to just show you guys like here's my entire grow setup here you can see there's my timer there I haven't used it yet because my light cycle is pretty simple um, so and then here's like my coffee table and it's like exactly the same size but it could house like quite a bit of plants um, I know peppers, they grow tall and they can be wide, but you can realistically, like, you can put them in, like, not, like, they don't have to have, like, as much room as people, like, would have you think. And, um, like, I've grown, like, large pepper plants way closer than the space I'm trying to fit these in, and they've grown full and given me plenty of yield. I'm not a farmer, but for gardening purposes and, like, indoor gardening, you could get a lot of yield out of like four pepper plants and I intend to as well as tomatoes I'm hoping these are cherry tomatoes because I think you can get a bit more of a yield from cherry tomatoes than regular tomato plants um, but yo I talk a lot but yo thanks for checking in much love to y'all I'll see y'all in a few days and see where we're at with the plants see if we get any sprouting down there from the peppers you know but these tomatoes are proven to be good. In a couple days, I might um, consider transferring them to like a water bottle situation and starting their Kratky aquatic grow.
Okay. Probably tomorrow I'll go and water the pods again um, from the bottom. I'll bottom water them because you don't want to pour any water directly on the seedlings right now. They're so sensitive and it shifts the soil around and you can also lose the seeds and you know just have them go everywhere. So always bottom water um, in the earlier stages of the plant growth and we'll catch up with you all soon. Um, just checking on their growth situation and uh, seeing what they're about. They're getting plenty of light. Um, their top soils are still moist, so I think they have quite a bit of water. And um, I'll probably water them tomorrow at the end of the day. I always do, also like, I make a point to like water at the end of the days. Um, so you can see like, depending on how much they drink that day, like how much they drink that day. Um, instead of just like having a definite water cycle, like some people they're just like, oh, I just water them every other day or something like that. But like really like, they don't always drink the same amount of water every day. So do be mindful of your plants thirst because everybody thirsty out here, you know. But yeah, y'all, I'll catch up with y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Much love.